Yeah, but just take one. Continue. Oh, just continue? One. Got yeah. it. Got it. Is that okay with you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be rather long. Okay, so the goals. Um, Do you want the light from this bouncing off? Or will okay, so it's 35 days. Just to bounce the no problem like, really clearly. I thought we could leave um, the So 35 days. Air going through. Is that okay? We've got workshop. We've got hab lab, living units. Uh, what's the reason there? I mean, okay, so we want to house 12 people by January 1st and finishing with November 15th for the construction because it gets too cold after that. And workshop, if we want to, if we want to continue the pretty much the rapid deployment of all the technology. So that means uh, what I see happening is by by January 1st or soon thereafter, like maybe just by February 1st, get recruit the further people that, that we need to make the, the project happen by a significant fraction of prototyping going on at Factory Farm. So uh, to do the prototyping, we need people, we need some resources. The more people we have, the more accommodations we have, the cheaper it is to deploy the GVCS 50 by year in 2012. Very ambitious goal. If, if we were to outsource everything, we would need about about $3 million. The minimum price ticket on us doing just about everything if we recruit people on site is about three quarter million or so. Um, typically, it, like the cost structure of projects is, is if we do the prototyping ourse ourselves, it's like 5K per prototype, about on average. If we outsource it, it's more like 15K or so. So if you got just, just like baseline on numbers. So if you got, say, 5K per project times three prototypes, we go through three prototypes all the time, typically. So it's like 15K to something of a product release. Um, times 50 is about 50, roughly. 40 or 50. Uh, that gets you the 750K figure. You're do doing at least three times as much. Like for example, the pro prototype from Swagger for the first first sawmill, that's going to run us about 15k. It's probably a little lower on the next ones, but assume about 15k per prototype. If we outsource it, or about 45, 50k times 50, it's like 2.5 million. So if you outsource to remote people, when you say outsource, you mean simply the fabrication. Not fabrication, uh, there's both in there. Um, for outsourcing, typically the person who designs it is quite is so familiar with it that the design is minimal. That's that's general assumption, and that of course will vary from project to project. But that price ticket is 2.5 million or so. Um, add on top of that some fudge factor and documentation. Where in fact the documentation we should have, I would estimate that to document each project completely, you need like three people per project per one prototype, or really. So you'd, you'd add like a million to that, and just roughly speaking, documentation. Um, then we also talked about the, the full CAD CAM platform, which if we could recruit a full-time team to, to knock off the issue of the, the fact that there is no good open source CAD CAM platform, um, that would cost about another million. To get like 10 full-time programmers for a year. I'm not even going to look at that. Let's limit ourselves at 3.5 million. That's my area of expertise. And holy crap. <laughs> that is a big project. Uh, so there are some some hard goals. The What are the resources that we have right now? Uh, so we did get that 60K construction grant. Um, Kaufman Foundation emailed me this Monday to do diligence. They're offering 103K. Uh, that's a question whether that will come in or not, but I mean, if they said it would, but that's what they said about the 100K that, that they offered before. Um, so we don't know about that. I'm looking at the Shuttleworth Fellowship, um, 250K. If I get that, that's Shuttleworth, will be known by November, uh, more like November 30. You've already applied. And uh, I'm doing that in the next week or two. Shuttleworth Fellowship. Um, and there's the 20k that's already burned up from from um, so there was a 20k emergency fund 
EF emergency fund, 60k construction grant. That's Kaufman. That's a question. Production. Um, I, I would like to count in this enterprise growing to 250k of production next next year. Uh, we've shown about 5,000 per, per week production capacity. And we pretty much demonstrated that upon, um, like the closest example in real life to, to show that like when Brianna was here, she basically did four of those machines in, in about a month of time. But with skilled people and the plans being fully evolved and optimization happening, we can talk about 5,000 from selling a machine from about a week of labor. And I would like to see a situation where there's 12 of us, the most optimal thing that could happen is we are spending one week out of the month in the scenario of 12 capable fabricators, prototypers, one machine for a week per month, 12 people doing that, 60K per month. 60K is a lot. Um, per month. Have you thought about how desired the products are going to be? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're flooded with people requesting things, and I'm basically trying to send them away to until we, we finish our fabrication capacity, as well as document the complete price structure and instructionals for people doing that independently of us. Um, I would say as a pretty realistic figure to get to by, by like June 2012, four of this potential, about 20k per month being realized. Uh, so that means as if there were four orders per month that we develop, that we produce in like a, in a week's time upon optimizing some of the production aspects. How many bays are we reserving for uh, production in the back in the shop? Well, I would like to do that for seven, like, if we talk per month, seven days. So seven days out of the okay. the month. And then the rest we go to prototyping. So okay. look That's at our workshop. Yeah. Okay. Um, we basically got 12 bays of workability. One of them. One of them. So take 11, it estimated would be like one, I mean, this would be more like a drive-through mm -hmm. down the middle. Are we going to drive through that top end? Because that's going to have a trench. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not, not come out to be particularly, but you do need to move materials around. You need to move things around. You might use um, the, like a last bay or the second yeah. and last bay as part of as working area. Yeah, the three in the middle. You can have an L-shaped yeah. drive-through if you need. Uh, well, if you can well <laughs> I would say, yeah, maybe that you don't need to drive there, but there, you would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh. eight full bays. There you go. Full yeah. bays. Okay. That's um, one CB, like if that's sixteen by sixteen or fourteen by fourteen. Oh. I mean, the CB footprint is six by six, yeah. so, so you can probably that. divvy up to like you know one point five per bay. Roughly 1.5 machines per bay for, for the tractor, you probably want the full space. Or a tractor and two car keys. Yeah. Um, <laughs> something like that. We're going to have some equipment. But there's a, it takes a lot of space. Yeah, there's a bunch of equipment sp space. The welders are mobile. There's going to be a big station for, for the iron worker machine, torch table, lathe, some other things. So there's going to be equipment we can pull that, put that against the back or maybe we'll have to work all that out but I would say maybe there's capacity uh, I mean for four devices absolutely and uh, possibly ten ten devices at a time if there are so but anyway we, we care about four devices per month so four base taken up by that that's the general concept if we were to bootstrap financially to some of the the money that's required so then I'm counting on um, so that's a question uh, OSC Europe news from Nikolai today. They're, they're going on a, on a plan to get 500k from Europe by June, by mid mid 2013. Uh, 500k. Nonprofit sector. Some good welfare can get you at least 250k. Um, that's totally questionable. I mean, that's like uh, right now this. Well, the 